Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 532 of Fallout 4. I'm seeing enemies everywhere. What's that? Is that Brahmin? That, that's Totes Brahmin. He's running really strangely. But uh, let's see, last episode we were at 10 Pines. I finished with the wall there. I got another little turret defense system along that. Uh, I can't help it. I made a pit stop at Thicket. There, there were a bunch of raiders and they needed to die. So <laughs> I beat up some raiders. I stole their clothes. We got a full inventory on me and we got an uh, end dance. And we got some mole rats up ahead, and they were like, they were running around in a very strange pattern. What are you, what are you guys doing here? Oh, there's Raider Seiko over there. Oh! Oh, I, I have my bearings. I know where this is. This is that little, um, whatchamacallit? I heard something. A little encampment that also had the cap stash and I think a revolver in the, in the vent thing or whatever forever ago. Because we're up towards Sanctuary. It's been a long time since I've been here. I mean, I don't necessarily need to kill these dudes, but the raiders, so... I'd probably do the world a favor if I took them out. Hey, guys. You want to meet my friend Vats? Well, no, 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 take your time. Take, take, it's okay, take your time. Do you remember what he looked like? Boom. And... That percentage... Eh, well, the arm... Eh, the should be building up here. Here. He blows arm off. <laughs> no, no, you don't get to live. <laughs> Nice try. Uh, dance. Hey, loot. Grab anything useful. Roger. Sadly, his and my inventory are pretty much full. Hey, there it is. Told you. Pretty much full. You didn't believe me. You didn't believe me. But I am super close to Sanctuary and it might just be quicker to loot it all. Versus sit here and tell Dance to loot things for days. We've seen how that goes. <laughs> but I can see Sanctuary from here. And if anything, it'd be kind of a good idea to have all this stuff on me. Go into sanctuary, drop it off, and like drop it on the ground, and then store it, so we can get the uh, settlement size cheese. Because you know, base game's flawless. <laughs> it's, it's totally not. But uh, yeah, up, up there is that little like vent thingy, right? Was it, was it over there? I mean, I know like the, here, here's this one. Then you follow the line up. Also, it's over there. But yeah, I've never doing that little distraction and diversion forever and a day ago. It's been a while since I've been here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You hear that? Those are that's turret fire from Red Rocket. Do you see the lines? Do you hear the explosions? <laughs> Did you see that corpse fly just there? <laughs> um, I think it's a raider attack, but they met the wrong end of a missile. <laughs> that's always impressive. That is. That is impressive as all get out. You do not mess with those rocket turrets. Let's see, what's going on over here? I see some smoke, which I don't like. And it kind of confuses me, considering what what it was that they, they shot at. I'm not really worried about the enemy type, but like... And I know they had no chance of... Well, why is there a random rad stag? They had no chance of even getting close to my base, but... Well, that's a rust devil. I thought it was a raider, maybe, but... What's all that smoke for, huh? What's all the smoking business? Like, none of my turrets should be broken up there. I'm looking at the HP from here. I'm like, that one's like hurt for some weird reason. I don't know. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Apparently one of them got pretty close. I think it's just the weird way the game loads all the enemies and stuff in. A lot of times, like, I'm supposed to be going to Sanctuary to drop all this crap off, mind you. So, let's not drop all the stuff off here. That'd be the easy way out. Sorry, Radstag. I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, but I'll, I'll hit this up on the way here. Screw it. I need to go to Sanctuary. Need to focus. Need to focus. Of course, I hope you guys enjoyed the shenanigans. If you liked the video, guys, do hit the like button. It does help me out. It does, does mean a lot. I feel scummy saying it all the time, but when you got a douchebag going around and disliking like, all of your videos, it kind of feels bad, man, and then you're dying of allergies. Like, you just don't need this. So... Thank you for the for those of you who actually take the time of your day to do it. it does mean a lot. But let's see. Did I? I did. I think I added like a crap shack attachment on here forever ago. I know I put a ton, 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 ton of crops in this area. That was like the big thing I did in Sanctuary. And I did have scrap everything because I did mess with that one house. Okay, I should be within Sanctuary's boundaries. Absolute. Oh god, I can scrap that. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> um, I don't think I scrapped everything that I could scrap, though. 
I there's there's a lot in Sanctuary. There is a lot. But let's start dropping all of this stuff down. And honestly, if I lose some of this stuff, like it slides and I miss it, I'm not really going to cry about it. This is all crap anyway. Uh, we just picked it up on Raiders along the way here. So it's no skin off my back. I'll totally be A-OK -okay with canning it or losing it. I'll do my best to, you know, not do that. But it's it's not going to not gonna worry me too much. Yeah, get rid of that too. Weapons. Um... I'd prefer to not drop grenades and things, because they're just particularly hard to find on the ground, and I really would rather sell or not pick that up. But, all this stuff. Please don't accidentally store here. Let's save. Please don't accidentally store, like, a building. No, don't pick that up. I, I, don't, I don't know what might happen. <laughs> I don't know what scrap everything might do to me. So we'll just be safe here, because I know I can look over there and pick that stuff up. Gots to be safe. But yeah, as funny as it is, as silly as it is, you can see the settlement size changing slowly, like it should anyway, because this is stuff in the settlement area and I'm storing it. Really weird how this thing works, and I think I did this before in Sanctuary, so it might not really affect it as much because it's such a huge size. I don't know. It's a This is a funny little bug that the game has in it, and it's been in there forever and a day. And I think it even works in console. I might be wrong on there. Because you're just using a base game mechanic. You're just storing things. Spike knuckles. I'm not going to move from the spot. I need to look around with my camera a little bit first. Get out of here. Get out of here, shrub. <gasps> I can get rid of this maple tree, but I can't get rid of the other one? That drives me nuts. Stupid shrubs. I think we're safe. Cool. But yeah, Sanctuary definitely appears to have a lot of stuff I need to scrap. Get wild. our crops. Dance's inventory is still a nightmare, so we'll need to see to that. Hey. Switching out your gear? Yeah, Buzz Lightyear. Um, give me your things. Give me your things. You don't need any weapons, and if possible, I'd like to let you have your clothes, because I don't want them either. Uh, you don't need those. I don't know what you think you're doing with those, boy. <laughs> Let's just drop this stuff off before we deuce out of here. Oh, no, I don't think I did. I think I just... Yeah, I just built up there, and I built on this existing, essentially, crap shack. Yeah, that, that's good. So let's see, combat rifle, a bunch of other random rifles. They should all be stored in this stuff too, which is, I guess, funny because I don't really store stuff in the workshop here. I store it in the filing cabinet, but whatever. If a trader moseys on over here, we'll sell it. That's essentially the point. Or if, you know, I set up a trading thingy here, that also work. 241 on the weight. What did it be doing that? I need 50. I don't need 10. I don't need 556. Five, I don't need like any of this stuff. Mm, I do need 44, I don't need that, I don't need 308, I don't need fusion cells, I think it's like food and stuff, I think I picked up a, a fair amount of food. Yeah, mole rat meat, chunks, mylark meat, I just walk around with meat in my pockets, it's a normal day. Dirty water, tons of drugs, um, officer police, I can tote my goats, explain this, it's, it, no, it, it's, it's fine. Water out, keep, razor grain. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I picked up some of that stuff. And good to go. <laughs> I did put a shop there. I'm like, wait a minute. It's like, what, what are you doing over there? Is that. Who is this? It's, like, it's Carla. What the hell is Carla just standing there for? That's weird. We totally did accidentally. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. I just wanted to get rid of the, the hedge. I got rid of the road piece that was there, but I'm going to build over it anyway, so it's no biggie. Uh, I still got, I totally have crops I got to get rid of. Let's take care of that. Goodbye, Senor Corn. Say hello to my inventory for me. Will you? Enjoy it in there. Just wanted to trade a few no, things. No, I don't want to trade it. No, no. No, you can't make me. I don't want to trade anything with whoever's hiding in here. They're creepy. These guys are so creepy. They just hide in the fruit bushes. You see them. What are you guys doing in here? They're having fun in the, the mute fruit field. They're playing stink finger. When you're older, you'll know what that means. Oh, lol. Oh, darn. I am awful. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely awful. Yep. It's confirmed. Uh, there's like three potatoes left. That's the majority of them. Some of the mute fruit, obviously, I can't really get it all try, but... Okay. Now. Where do I want to start building? And, or do I want to start scrapping things first? Well, first things first, to save is always in order. You. 
and not the grass, the feral ghoul. Love. Absolutely love being able to get rid of that dog. That's, that's, that's really important to me. It's super annoying. The ghouls, like the corpses that build up over settlement. Th that's from a settlement attack. Like, also really cool that I can get rid of all of the uh, debris here, at least the majority of the debris. It's a like useless grass mound right there. Okay, I mean, I'll keep it for now. Because it's kind of going to create a crater. But I'd like to scrap the trash. Because we sure as heck don't need no trash in our settlement. And if I decide to build here, because this was our house, this was the home of your character, I, 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 uh, I just have a problem and I scrapped <laughs> the actual house. I did. I scrapped the actual house that was here. It's a bit awful, but you know, you, you get rid of some of the old, out with the old and with the new sort of thing here. Some some rubble I left behind here. I think I gave up on the leaves because I accidentally scrapped the foundation doing this. Which I'd prefer again to not do. Yeah, it's a bit janky right there. It's like some of the things just don't have textures because of course they didn't expect you to do this. Uh, this is just the amazing mod that is scrap and every everything and it lets me do whatever I want for the most part. For the for the most part. There's certain things for some reason that I can't scrap, but get out of here, toaster. That definitely, definitely gives me way better control. Pile of leaves, and you don't let these leaves pile up like this outside your house. You're gonna get in trouble. They're gonna call the township. You're you're, you're, de you're done. Like you're in trouble, man. Um, some more trash, dude. Like who does this to this poor place? Just throwing your your, your debris. I, I I know it's debris, guys. It's okay. <laughs> Just throwing your debris everywhere, you jerks. Trash and things. Messy, 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 messy. Okay, so that's uh, a half-decent little foundation there. Interesting that those two are linked. I'll scoot you over. More leaves. Totally missing leaves. The baby rattle? Sean don't need no baby rattle. Sean's a big boy. He, he can deal with that. Uh, pop a save, because I didn't screw up anything. That's impressive, by the way. It's actually a big deal. Now, can I build upon this or is it going to be like every other place and I have to not build upon this and I have to make my own foundation I'm betting I'm not going to be able to snap this no so even though I did my best to not scrap this foundation it's a good idea to get rid of it so for now let's, let's move it I mean I, again I, I saved the things like that that's, that's why we do this stuff and probably just continue the tradition of a nice warehouse floor if I can get it to line up, a, it also gets rid of that annoying texture that was there too. That's a good point. The texture, like you could see through, it lines up really well with this little walkway, and it would be really neat to put a door there, and just, just like a normal house. It, it actually kind of works out in my favor. I'm liking this. Nice. Uh, this, however, the little finagling, and you'll never get it. Well, that was weird. I wasn't looking at anything, but I picked something up. Never get it quite right. I'll do what I can. Uh, why are you no snapping? Please tell me, for the love of God, I do not need to go underground. Please tell me I don't need to elevate it a bit. Is that the high point of this place? It kind of looks like it. Ooh. Get out of here. I'm going to take my frustrations out on you, Mr. Patio Chair. Get out of here, you stupid tree. I'll just put you elsewhere. I'll just... I'll just pick you up and put you somewhere else. No, I'll leave it there for now. <laughs> um, Let's see if I have to do this, just out of curiosity, if I have to go underground. Uh, oh god, you can see like, the green outline from under here, it's kind of freaky. Like, Oh, do I not have object snap on? <laughs> Lol. That might have been because, you know, I was at the... Oh, I thought I... I, thought I Okay, I, I, didn't, I didn't press TCL. I did TC. I hope TC didn't break anything. Okay, it's because I was messing up the walls previously and I turned snap off. Whew! I'm like, if I have to build this entire thing underground, that's gonna suck. That's, uh, no fun. But yeah, it does suck to get rid of the foundation because obviously that was a, like, a natural thing that I will never be able to create. Oh, 109 off of building. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so we'll, we'll make our own foundation, shall we? 109. God dang, dude. 
dude. That's crazy. A lot of levels. So here we are. It's essentially the size that it was before. I can change upon that. Grass mound. Eh, I'll keep you for now. Nah, this also had a bit of like a, like a, I don't know, uh, like an actual garage, sort of, I think, at one point. Probably not going to keep that. How exactly does this driveway line up? Pretty cool. And it surprisingly, it lines up really evenly with this. I mean, I based my initial uh, platform, uh, platform, my initial base here off of that. And it's, it's a touch off, I think, but it's really close. Cool to see this lined up neat. Ah, uh, do I want this to be square though? No. However, is there anything that I can truly truly do about that? Unlikely. <laughs> I can make it pretty again. Don't get the hell out of my settlement you silly old patio chair. Stupid brambles. Um, if, I mean I could get rid of this driveway. And then on that note, what I would do... What the hell was that noise? That was weird. It's like a bark almost. I don't think dog meat's over here, I mean... But yeah, I mean, I, I could protrude this out to give me again a different roof. It's almost like an L-shaped house sort of thing. But it gives me access to a different roof and I don't want my I don't want my settlements to just always be square. Make me some, or some, some buildings to be square. Make me some square buildings, but... Not every one of them. Can that. Can that. Why does it feel like... Like playing fighting music. I get that there's always those raiders and stuff out there, but... You know, like, the, the music is awfully dramatic right now. I almost really want to do another layer, but... I don't think that's... Ugh, I don't know how to feel about it. I kind of like it. The same note I don't, because of the sidewalk. I'm going to roll with it. For now. And you know what? I can even keep that driveway there, because it's not interfering with anything. If I need to scooch it, I'll scooch it. Stupid gate. I can make my own gates, and they look fancy. So you shush. You, you shoot. Shoot. Totally scrapped the other house, too. We, got, we didn't like the neighbors, remember. We, the neighbor was a jerk. So we got rid of him. But, let's keep that. Go back to wood because, again, I like wood. Nah, nah, I, I like the wood walls. <laughs> I want to get your hopes up. But uh, I like them wood walls. They, they fancy. Especially the snap build ones, and they just work really well. All these doors. I could extend the house out another block. It's likely to be far too much. And I mean... What would be a really neat thing is maybe I go through and I get rid of all of those crap shacks here eventually and then I build them up into real homes and then it's, instead of creating one gigantic community building like I have always done, I give them individual buildings. Maybe not individual, but you know, like two or three people to one. It's like a family sort of deal. That'd be kind of cool, I feel. I can see that being really neat. I need to do miscellaneous. That'd also be a very big undertaking. There'd be a ton of building. And I'm totally for it. But for now, let's roll with that. Um, uh, it's not really secure, but it also doesn't look... Eh, no. Nah, it doesn't look as bad as I thought. We'll keep that. That's a bit open for a front door, but we'll roll with it for now. See how that, see how that works. So you, get out of here. You're gonna be in my house. That's weird. Shush. Shoot. You're not even a heavy machine gun terror. You're a normal machine. Man, I haven't seen these in a while. <laughs> I mean, this is Sanctuary. This is our first settlement. I think they made me make a machine gun turret. Or they wanted a defensive value and I made a machine gun turret. It was like part of the starter quest or whatever. Oh, that's right. No wonder this is... Oh, God. No wonder this is so painfully bright. We have the mod installed. And we put a ton of lights in here because the game sucked. You know, like the lighting system sucks, vanilla. So, no wonder I'm blinded. Let's can a few of these light bulbs. Truthfully, ones I bet enough. Uh, I, I mean, it's you, so I 
I think that's a touch better. There's also these ones outside. Ah, uh, I think that's a little bit better. It was very, very bright. Like, painfully bright. We'll roll with that. Uh, I'm just walking around being weird. You guys, go get jobs. I, I need to make a, a big fat vendor area so these people stop dicking around. No one's working. No one has anything to do. You slackers. What do I pay you for? What do I keep you alive for? Hmm? I don't know. It's, uh, it's eluding me. Maybe I should change it. Any hoodles, check up her floor. Gotta say, again, it's a, it's, a, it's a favorite of mine. Let's build from the top so we know we're doing this right. Where, oh where, will I create the entrance to the second floor? Where, oh where, would I do it? Here is not going to work. That's an interesting texture glitch I keep seeing happen as that dude walks. Because if I did it down there, eh, it might. Say I keep this one open. This might work. It should work. I see no reason why it won't work. Oh no. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, shall we? Oh, that reminds me, I forgot to go check the uh, dog over there. And then the dude that always like die and respawn, and then I always make them hug each other because they gotta got hug it out. They gotta be friends. Crap. Uh, don't you reset my position on the door thingy? I was at the very beginning, I think. Uh, oh, no, it won't. See, here's what I thought. I just put stairs here, but I can't. Unless. Which I didn't do in the other settlements, and you know what? It is not a bad idea. No, is there a shack? <sighs> Look at this. See, there's shack floors. Here's the problem. There's shack floors, and the shack upper floor is thick. It's a double decker. It's the big D. And then these ones are cool in this sense. I can put a staircase here, but outside it is not covered. Unless somehow, some way, I could get this to snap on the inside. And even that would be a bit janky. Nope. Can't have my dream. Dreams are dashed. I'll have to put the staircase over there somewhere. Damn it. Well, at least we <laughs> at least we got that out of the way. Crap. Man, I gotta go get my hopes up and then the game shoots me down. The game just likes to mess with me at this point. And likely these will be replaced with some window panels, but as usual, I want the, the foundation of the house done. And then I work from that. So like a staircase here going up would make sense. It'd be a bit janky considering where the front door is. This seems to be a common uh, uh, occurrence in my houses. I need to learn how to fix this. What are you placing? Where am I placing these blocks? Okay. What the heck? Where am I placing the tile? Why are you snapping down there? Get out of there! <laughs> what are you doing? What do I pay you for, your wall? Here I'm yelling at my settlers saying, what am I paying for? I'm paying my wall. I'm paying everything. I am the lone wanderer. You guys shush. So, you, scooch, staircase, a go-go, and then put you down here. Yeah, again, you see what I mean with that being annoyingly close? It's just because I don't have the ability to close off the walls, which is janky. Very janky to me. I don't like that, but A, if it works, it works, so be it. I could put a staircase over here and maybe it'd be a little less strange, but even then seems still still seems strange to me. Yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to roll with this, is essentially where we're at. Why are you? Well, you know what? Just sit on you for a second while I make some things. So we need, we need roof. Oh, you know what? I never thought about it. Metal. Roof. Oh, the mod totally did add some, like, tin ones, but... Ugh. <laughs> they definitely don't blend in seamlessly with us. Concrete roof. Oh, they, I definitely they don't, they don't have those. <laughs> no. No. We're gonna stick with the wood stuff for now. I'm not gonna use the 25, I wanna use the 45. Uh, my plan was as follows, to have like the arch here, and then an arch here, and then comes in, and the arch goes towards the center of this place. That almost, you know what, it, it would make me happy with this tile right here, to be able to slap down, it might be easier from outside, this piece here. Yes. I sort of like that little overlook. I could even put two. Because I can't space it with that on the edge. It just won't make sense. I 
don't think I could put one here. I'll try, and then we get rid of this one. See how feasible that is here in a second. I don't know, man. This is still a learning thing you hear with me in the roof. Oh, oh, oh. I like how this is listed under wood, by the way, and these ones are definitely just like tin. <laughs> Strange. So, oh. all right. Uh, should be able to use this one here too. Oh, you're not snapping. Hey, sir, 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 uh. sir, please. Oh my god. <laughs> this game hates me. I got the positioning. Just right, and then I fall off the damn roof. Oi, 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 bit game. Got him. Okay, I think we will need a window. A win two windows. It's a lot of windows, but we're in like it's a nice residential area, you know. Uh, we want to impress the neighbors. We want to make this house look fancy. Mainly, we want to show off how badass we are when they look on our windows and they see all of our like. Uh, I don't know, furniture and televisions and things that you're really not supposed to have in a post-apocalyptic world, but I have because, I don't know, <laughs> for, for some reason it's in my crafting thingy. Yay! So we, we get to rub it in a little bit. Did I put a window on this one? I did not. Okay. Uh, I'll keep that consistent at the very least. And then you're another corner. That's going to have to be a different thing. Let's use middle sections a bit here to build this up so I can eyeball it a touch easier. Oh, 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 yep, there you go. I fig ooh, I figured it out. It's it's figuring things out. So I need those weird little end pieces or whatever at the end. Yeah. So corner end would have to go here. Oh god. Got it. Corner end would have to go there. That's going to be the shape piece, shape piece, shape piece, and this one. I mean, this would work, but that's not the right decision. It would have to be a corner out. Would look, it would really make sense. It'd be really awkward. What are you doing? What? 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 what make up your mind. Oh, all right. It took her a bit. Now the thing I don't like, and the thing I can't really do too much about with the size of these little bland plots, is the fact that this is going to be just like the last house, and have, uh, I mean, I like the design, like, the, you know, the, the 45s coming together like this, but I loved having the surface area right here to plop down turrets, so, that's a bit annoying, but I, I'm, I'm stuck with it, is where we're at, shit, that's no bueno. Flat shack roof. Keep this consistent. At the very least, what I can do is keep things consistent. <laughs> if I can't have them perfect, the game doesn't want me to. I'll try to keep things nice. Nice as I can. Don't need you. And then we need a big old winder here. A big old winder. Uh, you, you'll have to suffice. I gotcha. Excellent. So let's take a look see Lou from outside, shall we? It's totally time to wrap the episode up. So there we are. Not bad. Not the fanciest of houses, but not the worst of houses either. It is totally time to wrap it up here, guys. Episode 532. Hope you're enjoying the building. Hope you're enjoying me being at Sanctuary. It's been a long time. It feels good to be here. Uh, I think maybe we'll do a house plot or two and I'll make things look neat and tidy and. We'll take a bit of a break because, I mean, I, I could build there, I could build there, I could scrap that, build there, I could build there, I could build there. Uh, there's a lot I could... If I can make Sanctuary and keep Sanctuary a main settlement, I totally like to. The problem is traveling to it. Now I have the Verde Bird signal grenades and that's pretty cool. It's just not instant, you know? But it is really nice. It is a huge settlement. This is a very, very large settlement. It's just not in the greatest position, is, is all. So I'll put down a nice. I have I have like sheet lights and things, don't I? A uh, lamppost or something. But I'll put a door to there. I'll put some lights up front. We'll we'll turn this into a half decent settlement yet. I mean, it's kind of strange. Yeah, the house coming up right up on the curb. It's Fallout. I can delete the curb. You know, I mean, I'll make it rid of the road because the road's already deleted there. We'll put in our own road. We're putting something. 
We'll make it ours. We'll, we can. We're capable. <laughs> but anyway, guys, again, wrap up here, episode 532. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.